All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Mountain. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, give the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? Let's go, right, here fight. we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate. 
when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Hands up, hands up. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Hands higher, hands higher. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Under two minutes to go. Checks the leg kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. That strike blocked by Lee. And they separate. And he lands the knee to the body now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. It never looked this good. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Pretty good right hand. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Back and forth we go. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, nice jab. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Beautiful body kick. Not there. Oh, and he caught the kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Just missing on the counter there. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Lee. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his pulling. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent 
on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that feed the dance. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, just misses with the kick. 15 seconds to go. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him drive his shield. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept fighting a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Can't take many of those. You better check. Just over three minutes now to go. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Went for the inside leg kick. Big kick lands. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Big leg kick land. Lance with a right hand. Oh, nice. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. 
All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice body kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, big head kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on foot? Oh, he's oh, trying to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Three minutes to go. now almost immediately on the right side of his body. What a punch. Head kick. Oh, big, 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 big. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Liver kick. Right hand upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Keep your hands up, Come on. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands through the middle. Connects with a right. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting traps. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement. He understands traps. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponents. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fighter. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. That was a thudding leg kick. Look at the angle of that nice body. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. How good is that right hand? Just misses with a left hook there. Whoa! 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 He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, and he lands a nice 
another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Relax, relax. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Trying to kick the leg out. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. What a body kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Sound defensively blocks the shot. You gotta check these low leg kicks. One minute to go in the fight. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Thirty seconds now to go in the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Serve him up. Go get him. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of his